welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we're going to have a look of how to use and driving dimensions in SOLIDWORKS. Go to the blank page icon, click on the arrow here, drop down menu, and select Make Drawing from Path Assembly. Select the A4 ISO and select OK. From the View Palette command, we can select the back, click and drag. Select OK. So here we have the back, the left, the top and the isometric view. In order to insert the driving dimensions, I have to go to the annotation and select the model items. From source destination, I have to select the entire model. As soon as you select this, press OK. And the dimensions are automatically imported into the drawing file. You can always update any dimension by double click and set your preferred value, let's say 5. Select Rebuild and select OK. So as you can see, this hole changed to 5. So if, if we go back to the 3D model, it has changed as well. So that's why it's called driving dimensions because they drive both drawing and part file at the same time. Even if I made any changes here from 5 to 25, select rebuild and OK. Let's go back to the drawing file. As you can see, it changed as well. If you want to move this dimension to another drawing view, you can simply click Shift key on the keyboard, hold the Shift key on the keyboard, click and drag your dimension. As I'm moving the, my cursor at the edge of this dimension, you can see that they get different symbols. You can see that now change to parallel. By clicking now and moving my dimension, I can set a parallel dimension for this measurement. Something else that I forgot to tell you about is that these dimensions here, the driving dimensions, they have been imported from the 3D part. So while I was creating the 3D part here, so as you can see, mark dimension to be imported into a drawing. This symbol is already pre-selected. If you want this dimension to not appear to the drawing file, you can deselect it. The symbol, OK. Rebuild, let's go back to the drawing file. If you want to get rid one of these dimensions, you can just simply select and press delete on the keyboard. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Next tutorial, we're going to have a look of how to use a driven dimension in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching. See you next time.